Right, my friends, hello. We are off for a curry in today's video. And no, we're not off to an Indian restaurant because let's be honest, it ain't cheap, is it? It's not cheap at all. It's starting to get, it's creeping up. They've all brought out the new menus, added on their extra prices and their price increases, etc. And to be quite honest, it gets really, really expensive. I went to Balti Triangle the other week and it does get quite costly when you add your starters with your onion bhaji and your main course and your poppadoms and your, your pickle dish, etc. It gets costly. Anyway, Hungry Horse do a curry in a pint. Now, on a Wednesday, I'm not doing this on a Wednesday, but on a Wednesday, they do a deal on it so you can get it for even cheaper. So that's where we're going today. Hungry Horse. Um, it is getting a little bit dark. I don't like this time of year. I've got to say, in fact, I'm going under a bridge now. I don't know whether you can actually still see me. Here we go. Let's get under here one second. So we're off to Hungry Horse. I did um, a video there the other week, I believe, where I did the steak. And to be, to be fair, it was okay. It wasn't too bad, I have to say. Um, in fact, somebody said in the comments section, oh, it's like a posh Weatherspoons. And I thought, do you know what? you've hit the nail on the end there it really is hungry horse is like a a, a little bit more just a little little bit more uh, upmarket than a weatherspoons and that's where we're going today we're going to go for a curry and i think they include a pint with it I th onion barges i'll show you when we get there i'm going to this i'm going to go to the same hungry horse because i am told uh, there's another hungry horse up the road called the snipe but i'm going to the same one as i went to before the bold forest because i'm told the snipe's not as good and it is a little bit like that with weatherspoons isn't it it's hit and miss with uh what one which bar which which ones you go in which branches you go in anyway if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button uh, if you like the content if you think it's crap don't uh, I, I always say that don't i you can see somebody in the comments don't keep saying that now okay i won't anyway without further ado let's get on with it let's go say there's a travel lodge there in Mansfield I never understand why anyone would want a travel lodge in Mansfield I'm guessing this is just my guess that that travel lodge is the busiest on a Friday and a Saturday night but just for an hour they'll hand the keys back in after an hour controversial <laughs> anyway come on onwards Right, here we are. Come on, we're losing lights, getting dark. And I don't want to be out too late. It's a school night. Come on. Right, so here we are at the Bold Forester, a hungry horse establishment. Um, got the epic breakfast there. I'm told, by the way, I keep looking at that thinking, in fact, the sausages actually look, look nice on that, but never fall for what the pictures look like. I think I might have to come back tomorrow morning. If I get time tomorrow morning, I'll pop back and I'll do the uh, epic breakfast because I'm, I'm told by a few people in the comment section that it's fairly good. 
Anyway, today we are off for a curry. Don't forget, have a look on their website because certain days do certain deals. So I think it's a, a steak Monday, which I did last time, curry Wednesday. I don't know what they do on a Tuesday, but we'll have a look, we'll have a look on the menu anyway. So let's get in there, get this ordered. Mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark this out of 10 as well on looks and on price. But remember, it's curry Wednesdays when you're going to get a deal. So it'll be cheaper than I'm paying today, but I do fancy a curry. It's going to be cheaper than uh, uh, going to an Indian restaurant anyway, isn't it? So come on, let's get in there. Okay, so uh, I'll go for the chicken tikka masala, please. Yeah, well, table number eight. Yeah. Uh, num number 10, please. Um, Would you like to add a number of that for next year, 129? Yeah, please. I'll add the number for 129. Yeah. Do you want Can any portions of chips as well to go with it? Oh, or? go on. Best of both. Yeah, chips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll have some chips with it. Best of both. Yeah. Um, and then I'll have a... Uh, I'm driving, so I'll just have a... A pint of um, shandy, please. Lager or bitter? Oh, uh, what side? Oh, uh, I'll go for lager of shandy, please. What would you like? Carling, Carlsberg, Claw, Sandy Dow, Stella Brew? I'll go for Carling, please. Carling. Yeah, brilliant. So a chicken tikka masala, a nan bread, a portion of chips, and a carling shandy. Yep, thank you. That is £16.12 altogether. Thank you. Right, so I've, I've definitely come on the wrong day because um, I've ordered uh, chicken tikka, which was 8 49 uh, an extra naan for 129 uh, and then a chips for 2 99 and a Carlin shandy for 3 35 Now, if I'd have come on a Wednesday, this is interesting, she says all that would have cost me £9.50 nine pounds because uh, you get curry and a drink Wednesday for six fifty. You can... Uh, Upgraded to a super special. Uh, here's a copy of what you can get on here, look. Uh, all curries are served with rice, poppadom, mango chutney. But if you upgrade it to a super special curry for £3 extra, uh, I believe you actually get, uh, I believe you get chips with that, actually. Uh, but there you go. So that's a curry Wednesday. So if you're going to come, come on a Wednesday because that's cost me 16 12 and it could have cost me 9 50 so I definitely uh, made a, a rookie error there, uh, but I did fancy a, uh, a chicken tikka and a bit of a curry. So anyway, we'll wait for this. While, I'm, while we're waiting for the food, just take a close look at the menu, my friends. Right, so uh, we've got the curry, we've got the tikka masala here with the uh, the rice, we've got the uh, poppadom there, we've got the naan bread, uh, we've also got uh, the uh, mango chutney there, uh, we've got the chips, which is a fairly large amount of chips, that's definitely not a weatherspoon sized portion of chips there. Um, <laughs> wow, that's quite a lot of food. Um, so before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look. Right, so I think what we'll do first is uh, we'll dispense with the curry onto the plate. Let's get that out there. There we go. Fairly, fairly good amount of chicken in there, I have to say. Uh, okay, I'll scrape all that out. What I'll do is I'll use my naan bread to uh, mop that up within a little bit. Uh, we'll pop that over there, pop the naan bread to the side. 
keep the mango chutney separately there to dip the uh, poppadom in. Uh, then we'll also get some chips on here as well. Let's get them on. Best of both. There we go. Dispense of them. So I think first things first. Uh, let's go in for the uh, for the curry. Good amount of chicken, I've got to say. Wow. <laughs> wow. Got a little bit of a spice to it for chicken masala. To be fair, nice. A nice pleasant kick. Very nice. Okay. Let's have a little bit of this popping on. Dip it in the old mango chutney. See what that's like. Take some mango chutney there. Nice and crispy, very sweet the mango chutney. Okay. Have a taste of the old naan bread. There we go. Mop up some of the curry sauce on there. Now naan breads can be a little bit hit and miss if you're not at an Indian restaurant. But to be fair, that's quite quite good. It's not too hard. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard, not soft enough. And that's pretty good. Let's see what the chicken is like. There we go, cut the chicken. Chicken's nice and white on the inside. Tables were clean, unlike um, Weatherspoons. Um, staff nice and friendly. Mm. Going for a bit of rice. Mm. This is pretty good. Gotta say, very nice, enjoying that. And uh, who doesn't like a little bit? Best of both, rice and chips, chips and rice. Right, I'll eat this, come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of 10. And don't forget, come on a Wednesday, don't come on a Tuesday. Mm. And you've got a wider choice of curries as well on a Wednesday. You've only got the tikka masala every other day, so Remember, Curry Wednesday. See you guys in a minute. Right, I'll tell you what, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the rest of this in peace because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch any more B-roll of me shoving food into my face. Uh, so uh, with a bit of music over it. So I'll see you guys outside uh, and we'll sum it up. But oh, best of both. See you there. Mm. Drink my pint as well. Oh, nothing like a shandy really is it? really refreshing see you outside
Right, I don't know whether you can see me. I'm under a light here. Probably better for you if you don't see me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get down to business. <clears throat> the curry was very, very tasty uh, for a chicken tikka masala. A pleasant sting to it, a pleasant little bite. Obviously not too much, it's a tikka masala. Uh, plenty of chicken in it. Um, the chicken was nice and tender. Uh, the rice was uh, light and fluffy. Uh, the, the chips, plenty of them, uh, probably a little too many chips for me, but you'll probably say not for you. Um, the uh, the poppadom, crispy, and uh, the mango chutney was nice and sweet. Uh, the naan bread, uh, I'm surprised, I'm funny with naan breads, especially if it's not at an Indian restaurant. They can be either a little bit hard a little bit, a bit crispy and you know what i mean not not right not like a naan bread should be um but for me that was great and i love the best of both i mean i do chips and rice uh chips and rice excellent rice and chips with the curry love it um in fact my uh cousin stephen up in leeds uh leeds 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 i'll do that for him uh, he's over in tenerife at the moment uh he actually uh, says he likes that. He likes chips with his uh, Indian curry. He didn't, I, don't, I don't even think he has rice. Anyway, let's get down to business with this because I need to get back and I'm cold. Um, I'm going to say the only thing that left a bad taste in my mouth, really, uh, was the fact that I came on the wrong day because I could have got it for so much cheaper, had a wider choice, uh, so I will have to come back. I am going to come back for the breakfast, though, because the lady in there said... I don't think you'll eat it all. She says, they are, it is an epic big breakfast. And I said, all right, well, I'll have to have a go at that then. Uh, I said, what about the one in bread? She says, we haven't got any loaves at the moment. They've run out of loaves. So I said, all right, okay. So a little bit of stock control again, but we have, we've seen that everywhere. I have to say, compared, because I know you're going to ask this, compared to a Weatherspoon's curry, that is, again, a step up. Uh, the staff in there are fantastic in, in this one here and the tables are clean. So it is a step up from where the spoon is 100%. I will try the breakfast. That for me, I'm gonna go, I can't mark it down because of the price because I've come on the wrong day like a Wally. Uh, so make sure you come on a Wednesday, curry Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna go, for what it was, I'm gonna go 8.8. .8. Hey, a good 8.8 .8, and that's a good score good 8.8 .8, i think so uh, there we go that is uh, the hungry horse the bold forester you've probably got a hungry horse near you try it try all the different curries out on a, on a when on a wednesday and uh, tell me what they, tell me what they're like in the comment section down below thanks for watching it was a quick one this because uh, i just thought i fancy a curry i'm going to go back and do some work and i thought i'd take you guys with me uh, if you are new to the channel do hit that subscribe button and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.